In our final surface area formula, we're going to focus on the pyramid. Remember, our pyramids have one base, and they come to a point. So take a look at this formula. The lateral surface area says one-half perimeter of the base, and this little L is in italics. That L stands for your slanted height. And I'll explain more in just a minute. And then we've got our total, which is, of course, the lateral plus capital B area of the base. Why isn't there a 2 in this formula like there is the other one? Because a pyramid only has, what? One base. So there's no need to multiply it by 2. I don't have two bases. I just have one for pyramids. So I'm going to come over here. The first thing I'm going to calculate is my lateral surface area, sides only. Okay, here's my pyramid. Now my sides are what? My sides are always going to be triangles when I'm talking about a pyramid. So this little italic L, my slant height, is the height of your triangle. Because when you make that triangle, look at my pen, it slants over to make the tip. The tip of the, the pyramid, right? So the height of your triangle is going to be slanted. That's what this L stands for, the slant height basically the height of your triangle. So surface area is equal to half perimeter of the base times your slant height. Step number two, draw and label your base. My base is a square, so I've got it drawn and labeled. Perimeter is three plus three plus three plus three. My perimeter is 12. So plug in my numbers. Surface area is equal to half perimeter of the base times my slant height. My slant height is 18. You can see it goes from the tip of the pyramid to the base of the triangle, and it makes my right angle because there's the symbol right there. So times 18. Multiplying this out, 12 times 1 is 12, divided by 2 is 6. Or if you can look at it as half of 12 is 6. 6 times 18 is 108 centimeters squared. Okay? Another example, this is a triangular pyramid, okay? All the steps are still just the same. It does not change because this shape over here is a, a square pyramid and this one's a triangular pyramid. We still follow our same five steps. Write the formula. S is equal to one-half perimeter of the base times your slant height. Step two, draw and label your base. My ba Base is a triangle, so I've got five, a side of 5, a side of 5, a side of 6, and the, this height is 4. As you can tell right here, this height is 4. Perimeter is 5 plus 5 plus 6, so my perimeter is 16. Guys, look, I'm solving perimeter. I did not even use the 4. Sometimes they give you extra information that you don't need. They do that to see, do you really know how to find the perimeter of this triangle? We don't need the four to find perimeter. Perimeter is the height of that triangle. We would only need it if we were solving for area. And in this case, we don't need it. So plug in your numbers. Surface area is equal to half of the perimeter, which is 16, times 12, your slant height. Up here, your slant height is given to you as extra information. It's not actually part of your shape. So half of 16 is 8. 8 times 12 is 96. So your lateral surface area is 96 inches squared. Okay, there's lateral. On to total. Total is your sides and your one base. Okay, here we go. This right here, I know it looks a little funny, but it's still a pyramid. It's just upside down. So write the formula. Lateral surface area, one half perimeter of the base times your slant height plus capital B. Capital B stands for the area of the base. So we're going to draw and label our base. I've got my triangle drawn, got it labeled with my 10, my 10, my 12, and then the height of this triangle is an 8. Okay, so for perimeter, add up all your sides. 10, 20, 32. So my perimeter is 32. Calculate in capital letters. I've got two capital letters. I've got capital P and a capital B. So now I've got to go and find the area of my base. Base of my triangle is 12. Height of my triangle is 8, so 12 times 8 is 96, divided by 2, 48. So I've got perimeter of my triangle, now I've got the area of my triangle. Now I've got to plug in my numbers. 
Surface area is equal to half perimeter of the base. Perimeter is 32 times my slanted height. My slanted height up here is 14 plus 48, area of the base. 16 times 14, 16 times 14, you can see I've done the math right here, is 244. My last step is to add 48, so I've done that right here, adding 48. My surface area is 292 inches squared. Last example. I've got a rectangular pyramid here. Step number one, write your formula. One half perimeter of the base times your slant height plus area of the base. Step number two, draw and label your base. It's a rectangle, a 12 by 4 rectangle. So my perimeter is 12 plus 12 plus 4 plus 4, which is 32 when you add that all up. Now your area is just length times width or base times height. 12 times 4 is 48. Okay, step number four, we're going to plug in all our numbers. Half stays a half. Perimeter of the base is 32. 32. My slanted height, come up here, it is 20. My slanted height is 20 plus capital B, area of the base, which is 48. Now I've got to solve it. 16 times 20. 16 times 20 is 320 plus 48 plus 48 is 368. So your surface area is 368 feet squared.